Hello my crochet friends, this is Lady Jana and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at this crochet kit that I purchased from Timu. It's a penguin. What I'm really really interested in is finding out how good the pattern is, the written pattern. Is it in English? Is it in, in another language that I cannot read? This is what I want to find out. Without further ado, let's look into this. This crochet kit is a penguin. I purchased this on Timu. I will leave the link in the description down below with the price that I paid. This is made by DIY Andy Crafts. Here's the back and let's open the kit. It looks like we have everything we need. We've got our yarn, our filler. We have hooks and needles, eyes and stitch markers. This is what I was looking for. So this, we have a little pamphlet. It says crochet kits for beginners. Oh, this is very interesting. So we've got all of our abbreviations, which hook to use, the conversion from UK to US. And also we have how to's, how to hold your yarn, how to hold the hook, making a slip knot, making a magic ring, single crochet. You've got everything in here. Right now, I would say that this is one of the best crochet kits I've purchased. You have the how-tos for beginners. Great. So this is a keep, I'm going to keep this. Now I assume this would be our pattern. So let's take a look at the pattern Oh, the pattern, it is in English. Part one, part two, you've got your terminology. Oh, this is perfect. Look at this. Look at how detailed this is. And then you've got your abbreviations, how to read the pattern. And then it talks about the material. And this is the pattern itself. But I'm not going to give you the full pattern details. This is a purchase project. I do not want to give this free to anybody. I will show you bits here and there where um, it's important for you to see. Just before we start, I just want to mention to you that I did have some issues with this pattern. I restarted this pattern over and over again and I couldn't seem to uh, be able to do the design correctly on the pattern. So this is what I did after I made some modification to the original pattern. The problem is that I couldn't get these colors to be on top of each other. They, they were always going this way slanted. I'm going to explain to you how I did it, how I changed the pattern. So the first thing if we read uh, the top portion of the pattern. We start with a magic ring, working in rounds that are joined together at the end of each round. So this is the problem, the joining. Normally when I do amigurami, I do not join the end of the round. You just continue in the next round. So finally I decided to not to join and I was able to complete this. Uh, working into a magic ring. We're going to start with a magic ring, but I will not do chain one. I remove chain one. I will do six single crochet, but I will not do the slip stitch. For row two, I will not do chain one. I will do the six increase, but I will not do the SS, the slip stitch. I'm going to show you the first three rows or the first three rounds and then once we get to the color change, I will explain to you how I do the color change. So six single crochet in my magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you must have noticed that I did not do chain one before starting my six single crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to start. I will not do chain one. Now let's start row two. Row two, I will not do chain one. I will go straight to six increase. One, two, three, four, five, 
one, two. So two single crochet in the same stitch. So that's my first increase. And I'm going to mark the first stitch that I made. Like this. And then I continue. So for row two, I did my six increase, but I will not do the SS, the slip stitch. And then we're going to go to the next row or round. In round three, I skip, I do not do the one chain. I will do single crochet followed by an increase six times, but I will not do the SS. And this will give us 18 stitches. One. That's the increase, single crochet, and then do an increase, single crochet, and then do an increase, single crochet, and then increase, single crochet, increase. single crochet and we finish with an increase and then if we count we should have 18 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 I am done with row 3 or once we're at the color change I'll come back to you guys and we will do the color change together starting row 9 this is where we start our color changes we start with blue yarn change to white yarn, do blue yarn again, white, and then blue. I will explain to you how I do this. However, let's take care of this tail first. So I'll just pull on the tail, use your yarn needle. You're going to weave through the stitches. You weave it just enough so that it's secure and then you go in different directions to make sure it does okay so that's fine cut out the yarn and then we're going to start our color change start with blue yarn i'm not going to do one chain i'm going to do my 16 single crochet But it does say that I need to do 16. So on the 16th stitch, this is where I'm going to start my color change. So I start the stitch. But before I finish it, I'm going to grab my white yarn and I'm going to pull through the last stitch. How many stitches with white yarn do I have to do? It's three. So let's do the first two. One. Two. And then on the third one, this is where I'm going to change to my blue color again. So I let go of the white and grab the blue. This is our three white stitches. One, two, and three, single crochet. Now, how many for the blue? Four. So now we do one. Oh. Well, that's one, two, three. And on our fourth stitch, this is where we're going to change to white again. And then we need to do three white. One, two, 
two and in our third white this is where we're going to do our color change And then we do 16 single crochet. Let's look at row number 10, same type of situation. So this time we do 15 single crochet, then we change to white yarn for five, blue yarn for two, white yarn for five, and then we finish off with 15 single crochet. So let's do that. 14, we're going to start our 15th and we're going to change to white. Now, make sure that when you do change to your white, your white is not tight. It has to be loose. Five stitches. One, two, three, four. And then remember on the fifth, we change the color. Let's grab our blue instead. Two blue. Okay, that, that's fast. So that's one. And then I change on this one to the white one. So that's our second blue. And then we do five white. One, two, three, four, and on our fifth, this is when we change the color again. And then we continue with 15 single crochet. Let's talk about row number 11 to row number 14. It starts off with 14 blue single crochet followed by 14 white single crochet and then again 14 blue single crochet. Now since there is 14 stitches um, I'm going to cut the white yarn each and every time. I'm going to change rows. In my blue yarn I will crochet it as I go along. Let me just show you. So I've done my, th my first 13 blue single crochet now before I change color to white I'm going to cut I'm going to leave a tail so that I can weave it in afterwards and then I'm going to grab and do my white Be like this now since I don't want to cut my blue I will crochet the blue inside as I go along I can also crochet the white so I don't have to weave it in. I could do both, but so let's do that then. Okay, so I'm going to grab the blue and the white. And I'm going to crochet them inside my single crochet like this. Well, that's one. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's two things that can actually happen. Um, by doing so, this could actually get a little bit thicker, but I think that the thickness is okay. It's not that noticeable. And also the blue yarn could actually be showing like here. But if you don't mind this, which I don't, I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing right now. So let's pull this a little bit, not too much. This is where I change a color like this. And then I'm good to do another 14. Now I'm not going to be weaving in the white. 
because basically I'm going to be cutting the white again and I'll, so I'll be able to take both of these tails how many whatever tails that I'll, I'll get at the end and I'll be able to knot them together and then leave it inside so I'm not gonna bother to um, to crochet the white all around and also it takes a lot of yarn I don't want to waste yarn like that when I don't need to rounds 11 to 14 completed this is how I'm going to handle the tails inside so if you notice I've got a, quite a few tails here to secure the tails I'm going to knot together the first two first pull it a little bit and then create two knots one two and then I'm going to cut them leaving a cer certain length like this and then I'm going to grab the next two pull slightly and then again I'm going to knot them together now there's also other ways that you you could have done this but this is the way that I decided to to do it today and then you cut and then you've got the last two again pulled slightly to secure and then create two knots and then cut so this these will be inside they're not going to show at all and then i've got a last tail here since this is a single tail i will weave t the tail inside the work And there we go. So now we're ready to do the rest of the rows. After row 28, it does ask us to start stuffing. However, it does not mention anything about the eyes. Uh, the eyes are added at the end, right at the end. Since I'm going to be using backings, these are the backings to my eyes. Uh, these backings do not come with the kit. This is the backing that I used this is to secure the eyes so since i want to secure the eyes i need to add the eyes before i stuff it, it does say where to add the eyes so you insert the eyes between round 12 and 13 and you space them six stitches apart 12 and 13 so if i count so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay how does this look i think that this is where it goes then it says um six stitches apart one two three four five six yeah i think this is the place so since i'm sure this is where i want my eyes to be i'm going to be adding the backing it's time to stuff this bad boy. This is the stuffing, so I like to fluff it up. And I also like to stuff just a little at a time. So once it is all stuffed, there's two more rows to do. And then it will be time to do the wings, the feet, and add everything together and do the scarf as well. Here it is, my little penguin from Timu. After doing the color change and showing you how to do this, everything else is just basic. The hat, the little wings, the feet, the scarf, nothing special about it. Just follow the instructions um, as it is written and you'll be able to do those. Uh, basically, the price that you're paying is a good price because of this DIY crochet kit for beginners guide because all of the stitches are in it just to get this it's worth the price as for the pattern I did struggle with pattern a little bit but it's like what my mother says if there is an issue with the pattern um, just fix it 
if you don't like something in a pattern, just fix it. I do have a one more pattern that I purchased from Timu. It's a little rabbit. I will be doing a video about it in the near future. Hope they enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourself a great day. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye.